Hello once again Monster Hobbies Model Car Mechanics. Welcome back to another great video in this garage unboxing series. Oh, I love this series. What are we going to look at today? Well, I'm glad you asked that question, Danny. Today we're going to be looking at AMT's Tip Top Shop in 125th scale. Oh, cool. What are we waiting for? Let's get down to the bench and open up the lid. And don't forget to stick around until the end of the video where I will show you where you can get your own Tip Top Shop. And once again, we return to the 70s, as it were, where we get to take a look at this amazing little Tip Top Shop model kit that just re-released from AMT. This is the Tip Top Shop Repair and Maintenance Station. And as you can see, it's in 125th scale. This is the second model in our garage accessory series. And as you can see, there are some really cool features inside here. As we turn the box on its side, we can see exactly what's inside here. This kit includes a jack and jack stands, a soda machine, an engine stand air compressor, a workbench with vise and pegboard back, garage accessories, oil barrels, oil cans in a box, and two mechanic figures with posable arms. Once you build and paint all the accessories inside this box, this is how you could arrange your garage scene. The only thing that's missing out of here is, of course, the car model, which you will have to get separately. Also included are all these really great decal sheets. There's even a calendar inside there. So now let's take the lid off this great model kit and see exactly what we get. There are a lot of white plastic parts in bags in this kit, as you can see here. And then there is another bag full of white plastic parts, also, that you can see. Here we have the instructions, which I will let Danny read in a few minutes here. And then we have our decal sheet. So I will hold that until the end, and we will take a look at just how awesome this is. Hello once again, everybody. It's so good to be helping Trevor out with these videos. All right, so here we have the instruction sheet for our Tip Top Shop Repair and Maintenance. And as you can see, this photo basically duplicates the top of the box. Here we have the box with all our important information, like uh, before you begin to assemble your model kit, study the instructions carefully. Now that's really important. And uh, down here we've got our symbols as well. So there's like the number for the part number, the little thing to apply a decal, the little two with the X to repeat this service two times. And then uh, we got plated parts and clear parts and all the rest. So these are the symbols you'll need to know in order to finish this model. Now the first model in our set is this oil barrel and that'll make your diorama look really slick. You can choose between Valvoline or Pennzoil. So you got the front of the drum and the back of the drum and then this convenient little pump. Then second off, we've got our soda machine, and if I'm a good pup, I can get myself a nice cold one. This is sort of a 50s era type machine. Very simple, you got a front and a back and a whole lot of decals just to put on there so people know what kind of sodas you got. Our next model included with this kit is this really cool workbench and vise. This one does look a little more complicated, but it's still fairly simplistic. You got a top to our bench, front and back, and then here you got that nice pegboard wall. That's what that decal is up there. And then check out this vise. You could actually make this thing operate, slide back and forth just like a real vise. And now I do believe this is the most complicated model in the set, but the most coolest as well. This is our air compressor, and most people usually put these outside in a cage because they're so noisy. But at any rate, check this out. You get the compressor here with the cover as well, and you get a two-piece motor for this thing, as well as the belts and pulleys. They all mount on this little table here, which then mounts onto our air pressure tank. You get a two, two sides on this thing. And then down here, you get this neat little stand. You can also put on which company this air compressor came from, which is really cool. And then here you get these bonus auto body repair decals as well. I do believe these are rusty. I'll take a look at the decal sheet toward the end and let you know. And right here, we got this really cool engine stand, which has the little arms here, and then the backing piece and the casters down below, as well as a little bit of a winch here in order to rotate this piece. Now you could put those motors in that Trevor and I did a long time ago, like the uh, Edsel motor and whatnot, onto this stand. That would be really cool. And here we got this two-piece jack as well. There is the top of the jack and the bottom with the handle and, of course, the skid plate. And here's the rest of our accessories for this model. So we got the two-piece jack stands, and then there's an oil pan here, 
We also have this two-piece gas can, or uh, we also have this as well. I do believe that's a big fire extinguisher. And then here we've got a box that has oil cans and you get, look at all these different oil can decals you get on here. This thing is really cool. I can't wait for Trevor to build it. And last but not least, we got these two gentlemen here that are the mechanics for our shop. These are our 125th scale figures. And if you look at this, there's a paint spray gun here. So this guy's obviously going to paint a car. And then we got this guy here who's kneeling down. I, I don't know what he's going to do. But at any rate, check out all these different paint colors we got on here as well. This is a really awesome model kit. Here's our first white plastics parts tree, and as you can see, we've got that nice two-piece oil drum. We also have our gas can here. There's a pan to drain our oil in. They also include this old-school telephone. That's a payphone, and that was not included in the instructions. There's our pump for the top of the oil can, as well as our two-piece fire extinguisher. So let's just take a look at how this looks up close. There's that telephone, and as you can see, that's a beautiful piece right there. Again, nice detail on here. I know it's a little bit uh, vague, but then again, this is for a garage scene. So there isn't too much detail on these in the real world, but I do believe this is quite the best you can get for a garage scene of this era. Next up, we have the two-piece soda machine that Danny was referring to, as well as this case here that's open with all the different oil cans. And as you can see, once again, this is quite a unique piece. Check that out. You've got the uh, pop can remover, or a bottle cap, I guess, in the system, as well as the coin box. Again, very nicely done. This uh, box here, you could paint up like cardboard, and then add in those really cool deep oil cans. Again, very awesome. And if you want other soda machines, don't forget to check out the Coca-Cola models because a lot of them have some really cool 1970s era Coke machines. This parts tree includes our bench as well as our two-piece vise. And as you can see, the detail on here is pretty nice. The only downside is that uh, Round 2 put their trademark right on the top part of this bench. And there are a couple of mold marks in here that we'll have to uh, take care of. But overall, this does look quite accurate to the high school benches that we used to have. And then again, check out that nice detailing on that two-piece vise. Really cool. If we turn it over, you can see again that it's all flat in the back. So that'll be quite good. In this area, of course, you add on that pegboard decal, which will end up making this look terrific. Our next parts tree shows our air compressor, and this isn't quite as big as the one Danny was talking about, where they put it outside. This is in fact a smaller portable unit, which again is quite nice. There's that spray gun for your painting your cars, as well as all the different compressor components. The only thing that is missing out of this is of course the air hose line, which will connect this to your air compressor. So again, let's check out these really cool parts. Look at the nice detailing on there for that little air-cooled cylinder. Again, that spray gun is quite amazing. Very nicely done. This is a, the ultimate companion to your auto body shop for sure. And here we have our jack stands as well as our jack and the components that we need in order to make that engine stand up. And once again, these are quite superb looking. Very unique, very awesome. Detail level is quite high on all these components. And uh, what else can I say? There's no flash in this, which is really quite nice. So again, very beautiful work done by Round 2 AMT. And last but not least, we have our two mechanics. And what would you name these two gentlemen here? Let us know down in the comment section below. Be part of the conversation, <laughs> as it were. Again, these look quite nice and would probably size up really well with the Fujimi mechanic sets. And uh, looking at the back again, very well detailed. Look at all the different buttons and things on his shirt. Again, very beautiful and easy to build. And here we have our decal sheet. And I'm going to have to ask Trevor if he can just take the paper off there for a minute. All right, Danny, there you go. Okay, now check all this out. Here we've got the little pegs for our pegboard. Isn't that cool? I mean, man, it's so tiny. Now, uh, you got to make sure you paint that pegboard a wood color first, though, before you put this on. There's our Valvoline decal and Pennzoil. Check out all these different signs for your shop. Purvis paint. 
There's under hood service and repair, the paint shop. Look at all the little decals for our oil cans and whatnot. And then these all look like scuffs and whatnot. So you could put those on the side of your car. We got a dartboard in there. There's our calendar. Actually, we got two different calendars. And then we've got, uh, this looks like some of those uh, crossing type warning type decals. And then look at all these little labels as well. These are actually for the shirts of the mechanics. So they've got names. But we'd like to see what you name the mechanics down in the comment section down below. Now here's a cool little isometric drawing you could use to plan out your model car garage diorama. Again, it is very simple. Could be used with uh, any one of these garage scene sets. Here you got this back wall with some windows as well as this wall here. You got a little stack of tires, a garden hose, broom handles, some tools up there, as well as your tool cases and whatnot. And then a little bench and a room for your car. And if you're looking for a bigger style garage, check this out. You got this little room in here, which is for changing tires. And then you've got a car wash going on here. And then your repair shop right in here with the hoist in the back. Well, I hope you enjoyed this great video of AMT's Tip Top Shop and that you could use these components to make your own garage scene. Hey, if you want to check out our model cars for sale, check out this link right here. Thank you once again for watching this video, and if you enjoy this series, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. And until next time, everyone, happy model building.